On days like today, it's really hard to take the National Football League seriously. Yes, I know there are great games and surprising results and a lot of betting pools turned out the right way, but if you watch this Eagles-Giants game and weren't just a little bit uncomfortable with what you saw, you've got a hole in your soul. There's no way that Michael Vick should have been allowed to play in this game. Now, the Eagles will tell you and the league will tell you, hey, he passed all the tests. But if Vick didn't have the good sense and the Eagles didn't have the good sense to hold him out, the league should have stepped in and said, you know what? We don't need this kind of publicity, not given the environment we're in and all the studies and all the lip service we've given to long-term and short-term results of concussions. Just keep them out for a week. Last week this time, we saw a national audience saw Vic take a terrible beating. He was spun around and went helmet to helmet with one of his own men and was diagnosed with a concussion. On Sunday afternoon against the, against the Giants, Vic took a more consistent beating. He was sacked or nearly sacked three or four times and hit the ground head first. On one play, he was hit in the chest, went back a few, a few feet, fell backwards and hit his head. He came, went up and it looked groggy. And there are times when on the bench he looked groggy. In the fourth quarter, he injured his hand on a pass play. He went out, came back in to great applause, only to go out again. Later we found out that he had broken his right hand. So. I wonder if the Eagles are going to trot Vic out again next week. Yes, I know he broke his hand, but you know what? It was his right hand. He throws with his left. And hey, no concussions. So on days like today, when it's really hard to take the NFL seriously.